Whenever I talk about these Impress Press-On Nails, I get a ton of questions about how to apply them, how long they last, just in general, how, the, how this whole system works. And today I'm going to be doing like a live demo with some real-time timestamps in there so you can get a feel for how long it takes and what is involved in removing a set and then reapplying a new set. Hi everyone, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the live action footage of me applying this set of nails, I just want to uh, mention a few things. First of all, this colorway is called Bright as a Feather and it really, it's like a purpley color with some very subtle sparkles in there. And then the accent nail is almost like a duochrome, uh, very shiny finish. So that's first thing I wanted to get out of the way. And then the second thing I want to get out of the way before I roll this footage is my nails are in recovery. I have done a lot of damage to them and you can see that they are growing out and becoming healthier as they go. But you will see like about half the nail is still pretty damaged from overuse of um, long wearing polish, be it gels or uh, dip nails. So I am really trying to let them grow all the way out and when I discovered this system I was thrilled because it does not damage the nail. And I just really want to be very clear about that because I'm afraid people are going to look at it and say, look how damaged your nails are. That damage is from other nail systems. It's a whole thing. I also know there are a lot of you out there that also have fallen in love with these and if you have any additional tips that you want to add for the group, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I can certainly uh, answer any additional questions you might have, but I think this pretty well covers it from start to finish. Let's start off with some supplies you're going to need for this. You're going to want to use a good cuticle removal lotion, a pusher for your cuticles, maybe some nippers if you have some uh, loose hangnail kind of things, nail clippers, a good emery board, and maybe some cotton pads and some nail polish remover. I do want to interject that I don't feel like my cuticles grow up the nail when I'm wearing these for some reason. I don't really understand that, but I hardly have to push them back at all. But that's my routine for doing my nails, and I feel like it gives you the cleanest surface when you're applying a fresh set of nails. So let's move on to removing the old set. In the package of Impress Nails, you're going to get 30 different sized nails. You're going to get a little orange stick, a little um, emery board, and an alcohol prep pad. Pretty much everything you would need to do to apply your nails right out of the gate if you didn't need to push back your cuticles. We're going to start by removing the old set. To remove the old set, you're going to want to grab that little orange stick, and that's what you're going to use to run along under the cuticle edge of the nail to loosen it and ultimately pull it off your nail. I thought it would be interesting to set a timer so you could see how long some of these steps take, because some of them are really quite fast. And uh, spoiler alert, I think start to finish it takes about a half an hour, but that includes uh, selecting nails that are going to fit on your hands, each hand, and that is probably one of the most time-consuming bits in all of it. But you need to do, take your time with that and get it right. Basically, all you're going to do is take that little orange stick and run it along the cuticle edge and kind of slide it in a little bit, running it up and down, and the nail becomes dislodged from, the, from your natural nail, and then it just pops right off. The glue is very um, flexible. As you can see, it, it looks kind of almost like um, almost like rubber cement glue. It's not, but it's kind of like that. It's very rubbery and flexible. And as you can see, they're just popping right off my nails with just 
no problem whatsoever. And it doesn't hurt. It, they just come right off. That whole process took me just a little over two minutes. That's pretty dang fast when you consider like soaking off gels. That is a time commitment. You're, you know, you're do spending at least 15 or 20 minutes on each hand. Once I have the old set off, I like to just take a very gentle nail polish remover and just run it over my nails in case there's any residual glue like stuck on my nail and that way it just slides right off and I know all the old glue has been removed. You don't need to use anything strong like acetone. You can use a very gentle nail polish remover, which is what I'm using. And then I just move on to your basic cuticle removal, applying the cream, letting it set for a minute, pushing it down, wiping it off, trimming any like little random raw edges. This is just, you know, like your basic manicure step. And I just like to do that to make sure that all the cuticle is off the, the nail so there's nothing interfering with the little glue stickers to keeping the nails adhered at the cuticle edge. So that took about seven minutes for me to push my cuticles back. So we're, we're up to about just not quite 10 minutes into our manicure. The next step is selecting the nails that you're gonna actually apply to your fingers. What I like to do is I just dump them all out and I start with the accent nail. So then I just pick out the one that's the best fit on my ring finger. And I'm just gonna give you just like a little footnote here. There are 30 nails in each kit. And I find if I do one manicure with an accent nail, I can definitely get a second manicure of all solid color. So I can generally get two manicures out of one box of nails if I do utilize the accent nail for one of my manicures. And most of the times I like that. And I just kind of plan ahead if I have, you know, something that I don't want an accent nail, I do the solid first or vice versa. So that's just a little footnote for you. I find that there's enough sizes in there for me that I can do a pretty good matchup for the second go round. Might not be as perfect as the first matchup, but in general, it's good enough and it's worth it to me to get just get that second manicure out of it. Once I get the accent nail matched, then I just start matching. Usually I work from my thumb, from my thumb down the rest of the nails and I lay them out in order of how they're gonna go on my hands. So you'll see I have two rows of nails, one for each hand, and they're, you know, stacked in order in which I'm going to apply them. And seriously, definitely take your time with this step. This step took me five or six minutes, I guess, to walk through and make those selections. I think the first time I did it, it took me a lot longer because I just wasn't sure and I was double checking. What you wanna do is make sure that the nail size you choose adequately covers your natural nail without going over onto the cuticle edge of your skin. It just has to fit solely on your natural nail. And if you have to make a choice between two sizes, I would size uh, down a little bit so that maybe you have a little bit of your natural nail showing through, but you'll get better um, and longer lasting adhesion. I hope that all makes sense. Just take your time with this step. So now I'm gonna finish prepping my natural nails. I like to trim my natural nails down a little bit so they're kind of short. I do wear my nails very short and I think it just makes the application process a little bit easier for me. Certainly you can do it any way, you know, you might want to try it, test it out a couple different ways with your nails a little, your natural nails a little bit longer or your natural nails a little bit shorter and see which works best for you. Once I have those nails trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and finish prepping them for final application and I'm going to open up that little alcohol wipe and just wipe down each nail so that I know that it's totally clean. So there's no um, cuticle remover left on there. There's no residual glue left on there. It's just a clean slate. And now we're about 20 minutes into this manicure. So the next step is um, applying the nails. So on the package, it tells you very clearly that the little tab that hangs down is the part that goes on the cuticle. So you can see 
here. This is the little tab that you would use to pull uh, off the sticker to, to um, expose the glue and it goes down at the cuticle edge. The nails are shaped just slightly differently at the top free edge as they are down at the cuticle edge. So you just want to peel that little sticker off and start applying it to each nail. I usually work from the pinky in, do the four fingers on each hand and finish up with the thumbs. As you're applying them, they do tell you that you should take a couple of seconds to really press the nail onto your natural nail. And I try and hold it there, you know, I count in my head, you know, 10, somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds. It just kind of depends on my mood how much I want to do it. But I do press pretty hard holding it down for each one before I move on to apply the next one and I just work my way through the nails. You can see in this shot how long these nails are on me. I mean, they look pretty, but they're just not very believable. That's not how I wear my nails. And uh, I did one time try and wear a pair that long and <laughs> I absolutely could not. I was just like fumbling and they just got in the way. And after about 20 minutes, I was like, um, no, thank you and clipped them back down like I usually do. But I wanted to give you a full shot of what the nails look like untrimmed on my nails because the next step is me just trimming these nails down to a length that I'm comfortable with and that I feel is believable. If you tend to wear your nails real long all the time, that longer length will probably work for you. Or if you have longer nail beds or, you know, there's a lot of variables here. I have pretty short nail beds I like my nails short because I use my hands all the time. I wash dishes, I clean in them, and I just don't even worry about these nails at all because they're a very comfortable length and a very sturdy length for any kind of activity that I'm going to do. So I just use a nail clipper, clip them off, and then when I'm done, I just go in and just defile the corners or any, like if there's any weird like edge that's going to be like rough and catch but doesn't require a lot of filing if you're careful with your clipping and for me it's just really rounding off these edges so they're less square and more of an oval you know that squoval so start to finish it took me it says here 36 minutes to do this manicure which I think is pretty fantastic because now you're good to go there's no dry time I publish videos every Saturday morning and I'll include a link to last week's video right up here however during the month of March I am including some additional content on my channel because it is my anniversary month so you might want to hit this little B icon and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that additional content. Just saying. And it's free. Take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye!